It sounds like there's crickets. I think I know she's in the Caribbean at the moment. Hey, can you hear me, Tommy? Yep, loud and clear. How are you doing? Hey, good. Yeah, yeah, good. I uh, just wondered if you wanted the weather report. From the Caribbean, we do. Oh, it's um, it's 91 degrees right now. Um, I can see a cloud about 15 miles away on the horizon. Um, another typical Sunday uh, in December, really. <laughs> you just go right ahead and rub it in. Yep. A cloud, 15 oh, miles. Oh, I will. I will. <laughs> What's going on with you today? Oh, not a lot. Just took the kids to the beach, you know, had a barbecue, a bit of lobster, um, you know, a couple of rum and cokes uh, down by the surf, gave the dogs a bit of a wash, you know. You know, the usual run up to Christmas. <laughs> She's funny, isn't she? Oh, God, God, God dealt her a shit hand, didn't he? <laughs> can, can, can we maybe get you, when you're free and sober, or, well, not necessarily sober, give us a ring from time to time on Skype and just rub it in? Oh, I'd love to, Tommy. Right. Love to. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right, Robin. Love, love to your family. You don't want to tell me your weather, then? It's shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a crock. It's oh, a crock of is shit. It? Oh, absolutely. We've had grey skies, battleship grey skies, oh. marching across from horizon to horizon since dawn, and that was about eleven o'clock in the morning. Dawn, and then the sun set about twenty minutes oh. later. It's cold and it's wet, oh, and it's I, I, just a crock I, of. I feel for you. I, no, you I feel for you, Tommy. Really. No, you don't, kidder. Anyway, I'll give them. Um, but I must go now because I'm. I must go because I've got a, a rum punch um, waiting on the porch and uh, we're going to, you know, just look at the sunset in a couple of, uh, about 20 minutes. So. Rub, rub it in, babe, rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> rub. Take care, rub, guys. Rub, rub it in. Take care. So, um, whilst we're thinking slightly sexy thoughts, Alison, you've been kind enough to bring in a thing that you call an orgasmatron. Oh. This evening, if you're able to watch on Tommy Boyd's Serve Beer... You'll be able to see this thing, but since you, if you're podcasting, of course you won't. Alison, you'll have to describe it. It's a bronze claw, really, isn't it? So yeah. you can hear me. It's a bronze claw. <laughs> um, you, need, looks you, like... you need to angle up with that because that's getting a very good shot. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, not of much, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what, what, you the, may think I'm a boy if you're looking right now. Apparently the, the camera was, I was holding the camera on what I thought was the orgasmatron, but <laughs> I got another bit. Uh, okay, looks like one of those claws that's, um, you know, in the fairgrounds, yeah. when you go in those machines and you want to catch a little teddy bear or a yeah. little gift. Big it claw. comes down and it Okay. Of it. That's exactly what it's like. But right. they're very flexible, these prongs. Okay. And you can actually bend them slightly in and out. Right. You're going to do but it, it to me. But it has to be done manually. Okay. okay. Well, take your headphones off. Come around the back of me and, and do it to me then. And I will try to describe this experience. Is it meant to make me feel good or um, is it make, meant to make me feel it, it sexual? Be, it depends on how you do it. Alison's standing behind me. Right. right. So. And she's about to stick it on my head. Okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. This is, I'm going to do um, I'm going to do a bit of a rough prod first, okay? All right. Well, I'm going to lean back in this uh, black leather chair that you get in studios, and I <laughs> uh, that was just Weird. kind of faintly, Weird. faintly aggressive. That felt dangerous. That made my trousers twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Why is that? That is so it's unlikely. It's nice. What's, what's, hap what's happening is that this this thing that she described, Alison described as a claw, it has in fact got eight, is it eight tentacles? Six. Yeah. Seven. It's got seven tentacles, um, which come down, eight tentacles, which come down over your head. The, the It's rather like a giant spider, actually. Uh, and perhaps that's why, first of all, I was a, bit, a little bit apprehensive about it. But at the foot of each leg... There's a little, a, a small brass nodule. Um, you know, obviously, so that it doesn't hurt you. So that it doesn't hurt me. But okay, do it again. And just let me see if it, it makes me, if it gives me one. Go on. <laughs> if it gives you one. Yeah, it just, it just made my trap, just a little <laughs> oh, twitch. <please. laughs> no, look, you brought it in as an orgasmatron. <laughs> no, All I'm I just saying. I wanted to see you cringe. No, no, let's do it, do it again. Let me see if I actually get a. Yeah, get in there. 
Wow! Oh dear. That's fantastic. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Why does that it's know nice. that? They're fantastic. But they're why fantastic. does that? Does yours vibrate? Fantastic if you've got yeah. migraine. Fantastic if no, you want to get all poorly. Your head, you've got pressure <laughs> do yours, does yours vibrate? No, I think you can get them. I've got the vibrating one at home. Have you? Mm. Do it again. Oh, an insight into Stuart's mm. private life. Yeah, okay, let, one more time, please, on my head. I want to... <laughs> I tell you, but that. No, it's gone now. Okay, I lost it. I think probably there was something. There was something kinky. Yeah, you sort of desensitised to it. Yeah, I'm expecting it now. But why? (laughs) Why the first? What What Alison did was just kind of like push it slowly down over my head. A bit like that moment in Snakes on a Plane where the guy gets oh, eaten God. by the snake and the snake goes over his head. Yeah. It's exactly, do you remember that bit? One of the most awful films I've ever Best seen. Best film I've seen for a long time, really? Snakes on a Plane. Fantastic. Oh, it was awful. But just one more time and just see if you can get, just give me a little kind of friss on there. Yeah, there. It must be sort of more at the front of your head. What no. must be? <laughs> that would be <laughs> what you think through. Willy. That would be in no, the papers, um, wouldn't it? The, 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 there are pressure points, all particularly around the front. Mm. And if you've got a headache, mm. um, like for example, my husband likes to just have literally mm. that, just digging your nails in, okay. because it takes away the pain. It's all, it's, it's all. You know, that's why they do Indian head massages. It's the same sort of principle. Sort of relief of pressure, isn't okay. it? Okay, but yeah. um, but but obviously, I'm not the first person to find it a little bit of a turn on. Mm. Most people I've done it to, if you have friends around, it's quite funny. Actually, most of them I find sort of, oh! But I wonder, actually, if that's because... Can you do it to yourself? Let me just see whether I can... It won't work if I do it to me. No, well, let me just see. It's not the same. It's got to be done by somebody else. Yeah, I know, you're right. I'm now applying this thing to my own head. get your eye out. (laughs) Again. (laughs) Uh, It doesn't... No, you you don't turn yourself on. It has to be done. Could I... If I did it to you, would you get frothy? I'm only I'm asking do- scientifically. Um, Frothy? I probably well, I'm trying to think of it turned sen- on. I don't, I'm- I've got a very sensitive head and neck, so yeah. I probably... Would you like your seat back? Well, he won't be able to reach her, will he? Oh, oh, that's right, okay. yeah, good point. I'm now going to try it on Alison. She's turned her back oh, on me, God. all right? And I'm just going to just bring the camera over this way. Can you just come back a little bit? Yes, I'm quite close to the microphone. Are you on headphones? No. Use those headphones. Yeah, but no, you can't, you yeah, okay. All right, here we go. Okay, and... <laughs> what? You dirty dog. You blew on my neck. <laughs> that, that, I did. I, I did yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. That's bad. Yeah, did, that, but did anything that. work for you? Did that work yeah, for you? Yeah, the blow. <laughs> did the blow work for you? Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, can we just try it on... Let's try it on that, shall we? Okay. I, I, yeah, I've had it before. I like it. Yeah, I know, like but if you haven't had it for a while, you kind of... Do you like We're showing the pictures on TommyBoydServeBeer.com. No, you said I don't like the heart. Like the no, heart. that's too aggressive. It's got to be. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> did you get a thingy? <laughs> it makes me. Sure did you? No, but did you get a little? You know. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Little, little, just a little oh. twitch. Oh. Down below. Isn't that weird? Oh, oh well, you don't get it. No, you're gonna have to stop. <laughs> you're gonna have to stop. That's too good. Okay. It's too well good. done. Okay. Point made. How much are those, and where did you get them from? Ten quid on the internet, okay, for a little device that will make men's trousers twitch. But why? It's one of the most strange phenomenon that that really is. Very, Still going rela- down my very back. relaxing. Though. Yeah, you don't think there's something sinister about it, which again is possibly the reason because because nah. you know being turned on, it's a strange, strange thing, isn't it? All sorts of things can be quite kind of hmm. oh, that's that's kind of strange and nice, you know. But I, that came out completely out of left field for me. No idea. Hmm. Very interesting, Alison. Thank you very much indeed for your orgasmatron. Uh, studio at playradiouk.com. We're reading out all the emails we get this evening. Matt? <coughs> we are reading out all the emails we get this evening, yes, so I have to read you this. <clears throat> Hi, sexy Matt. Thank you for last night. Sitting on your love stack took me so out of control that my love juices running all over you, I believe, spoilt the occasion for you. Please forgive me if you wash the sheet out now. The brown stain should come out more easily. Love, Peter. I have no idea who Peter is. Peter Evans. Well, we did say we'd read out all the emails this evening, so... (laughs)